like? Did you get to open the hatch? I did. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you when you go out as uh, GDA hatch open front. Dragon SpaceX or an EVA hatch open prep and from Coretti to open hatch. That is great news. You can see it's good. What one good? It's like two gold. SpaceX copies. Dragon, you are go to open hatch. Go. Excited. Copy that, SpaceX. Go to open the hatch. Mike, as you mentioned before, that continuous communication. <laughs> as you can hear, we do have a crowd gathering outside of Mission Control uh, here in Hawthorne. In their excitement, somebody dropped a cup. <laughs> we can see our commander, Jared Isaacman, now turning the crank, which allows the uh, that top hatch to open. We'll see him give it uh, a, a, a pretty heavy. Uh, EV1 hatch is visually indicating open. SpaceX copies. Stand by. Should see him give that hatch a pretty strong jolt to release that stiction. is now unlatched. As Mike talked about, he's, you see him getting his feet, getting his feet set. That's right. Dan, you'd ask if I'd gotten open the hatch. So when you go out as EV-1, just like Jared here as EV-1, that's that's typically the role for for you is to open that hatch. And you guys have to draw straws, fight over who gets. It's exciting. It is. It's very exciting. Yeah. Now, for those of you that have just recently joined, as you can see, we have successfully depressurized the Dragon capsule uh, down to zero PSIA. You see that in the bottom left-hand side, bottom left corner of your screen. Um, our four Polariston crew members um, have uh, gone through the uh, O2 flow, and we see Commander Jared um, Isaacman now standing by uh, to open that top hatch. The nose cone is already open. It opened just shortly after uh, the crew got into orbit. Uh, so... Dragon SpaceX target pressure reached. Copy that SpaceX, and I'm unseating the hatch now. Jared now opening Dragon Resilience into space. So we saw some motion on the hatch. Again, he's just giving it kind of that initial tug. And then Sarah gets to push the button to swing that hatch open. Much more movement there on the forward hatch. This must be pretty exciting for Jared because that center part of Dragon SpaceX, that's a good brace. We're gonna have you repeat the operation. Center of the hatch actually has a window. Copy. Give it another pull. The hatch is several inches separated from the gray light. Copy. We we see it. Looking out that tiny window there in the forward hatch, knowing he is going to have a much bigger window in just minutes. Uh. 
Dragon Space X vent complete. EV-1 return to seat. And EV-1 copy, transitioning back under the display. So again, one of the reasons we had Jared do that was to... Dragon SpaceX, we're actually watching that hatch. We're going to have you repeat the last operation. Sounds like they're going to have him repeat them. One of the reasons we're doing that is just to kind of vent any of that residual atmosphere. And EV-1, you are go for manual hatch open. Sounds like we got our first audible of the day. As we said, that we can open the hatch. Opening the hatch manually. We could open the hatch. Man, we could open the hatch automatically, or we can do it manually. And so they just gave Jared the go to open that hatch manually. So we we just went out of ground station reach, so we'll get the views back. Wow. We'll get the views back real shortly, uh, and then the the hatch will get we'll open. See a hatch open. And hopefully yeah. we see it. Yeah. Hopefully we see a hatch open. The hatch is open. SpaceX copies. Hatch open. That is fantastic news uh, for those that... Space GB1, I'm looking at the seals. Initial view looks pretty good. I don't see any bulges or indentations. Copy on hatch seal report. Yeah, that seal that you just heard him talking about, it's such a important part for the end of the EVA, right? So that when they close that hatch again, you get a good... Open. Get a good seal of that. Can you command open forward hatch? This is going to stall it open. There is our first view of the forward hatch. Wide open, open to space. Forward, huh? If you just jumped in, we are 38 minutes into today's spacewalk, and the hatch is open on Dragon. First view from a helmet cam, looking out. Dragon SpaceX, we see it stalled. EV-1 is go to continue. That structure you see there is... Check for egress. EV-1, Jim. Welcome to SpaceX, EV-1, I'm transitioning back from under the display. SpaceX copies, we're with you in your helmet cam. Once again, this helmet cam, we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. So the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. I'm at the bottom of the mobility aid, progressing. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. SpaceX, <laughs> back at home we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. Step into test matrix one. Single-handed mobility wow. demonstration. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging Copy from. Copy review test matrix one. Watching from the nose cone. Up, down, left, and right are threes. Kitchen roller three, yaw is a two. Switching. 
single-handed operations are fine, static, and with dynamic disturbance. Switching to left hand. Down, left and right are threes, maybe a two. Pitch is a four. Roll is a two. Yaw is a two. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared is performing. Single-handed operations, dynamic and with disturbance are all adequate. Test matrix one complete. HUD checks. 5.3 PSI, 48% RH, 33.9 Celsius. SpaceX copies test matrix one and HUD readout. Crew ops check, EV1 good. EV2 check, what one good? Question good. Okay, stepping into vertical translation. We're going to start with the horizontal bars. Transition over to vertical. I'd say vertical and horizontal are equally workable, slightly favor horizontal. I'm going to do a max reach. Left hands at the top of the mobility aid. At the midpoint, you have good video. We just lost our live video, but stand by one. Okay, switching over to max reach, switching to. Copy that, SpaceX. I'm holding up at the max reach. NEV-1, go ahead and continue the operation. Uh, we'll let you know we're back on with live video. Copy that. And for your awareness, max reach, let you aid, and the mid bar. Next test matrix two is complete. Cut readout, 5.3 PSI, 33.9 Celsius, 50% RH. Copy, test matrix complete, and HUD readout. Crew off check, EV-1's good. EV-2's good. We're good. Question good. Stepping into test matrix three, and hands-free demonstration. EV-1, SpaceX for ingress time. Stepping into test matrix three, hands-free demonstration. EV-1, SpaceX for ingress time. Go, SpaceX. Recommended ingress time of 02 flow plus 47 minutes. Copy that. Ingress time for seven minutes. And Dragon, we're back on live video from the nose cone. Copy that, SpaceX. And SpaceX EV-1, I would say the hands-free demonstration is very comparable to the trainer in terms of the foot restraints. SpaceX copies. And EV-1, when you have time, if you'd like to return to the reach demonstration, uh, we'll take a look at that with the live video. Copy that. Test matrix three is complete. The HUD readout is 5.3 psi, 47% RH, 33.8 Celsius, and stepping back into max reach. Copy test matrix three. And as you can three. see, top of the mobility aid, 
And uh, let's get a quick crew off check. EV1's good. What do you think, Ted? I'm good. What do you think, Happy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same. Top of the mobility aid, and then the mid road. Copy, we see Checking it. Checking up from the bottom. Any go back, SpaceX? Negative. We got about one minute until EV1 ingress. Happy to have one minute. It's gorgeous. Was a few times to get the intelligence and run his right so. EV1, we're checking out your helmet cam now. Well, I'm checking out your nose cone right now. And looks pretty good. Copy, we'll return to nose cone. See you looking at us. All right, we're coming up about that O2 flow timer time. Crew check for ingress. EV1 is good. EV2 is good. O2 is good. All right. SpaceX EV1. Congrats for the huge team effort that it took to get us to this point. We know it's just the start. And I'm transitioning back into the vehicle. TV1, we're taking a quick look here at the Hatfields. From what I can see so far, they look pretty good. Copy on the Hatfields and stand by for transition to three off reset. Copy that, SpaceX. Good. And EV-1 is clear. All right, so Jared, back inside. Uh, we, we heard him going through what's called the test matrix. Uh, it's basically just a bunch of maneuvers using different hands, using the foot Starting mobility. Three off reset is in progress. Calling out numbers. Right now though we're doing you just heard Arthur call up three off reset. So we didn't use any of the forward thrusters while Jared was out there. We're re enabling them, putting us back in our perfect attitude before Sarah gets ready to go out the door. Fun thing to note it's still not a perfect vacuum inside a Dragon. It's, it's an open loop system, so oxygen is kind of getting dumped into the cabin as this is going on. So you got a higher pressure in Dragon than you have outside. So we're not worried about thruster plumbing. Yeah, now you mentioned Sarah, um, just like Jared, she will have 10 to 15 minutes uh, outside, perform those same sets of mobility tests as Jared. Uh, like we heard the core do um, with EV1, uh, they will call out when there's one minute remaining. Uh, SpaceX, attitude reset complete. EV2, go for egress. There's Sarah's clear to proceed. Copy. Crew check for EV2 egress. EV1's good. EV2's good. Four good. Four two good. Four two good. EV2 is going to go stand in the door and then step outside. 
Now, this test matrix that uh, Jared just performed and the one that Sarah is about to perform, they have both committed to memory um, in order to execute these. Um, we saw it being done pretty efficiently. I yeah. can't believe how quickly that time went by. Mike, we were talking about how your space box for hours and <laughs> these right. guys only have 10 to 15 minutes and it just like that. Yeah, it, it can go pretty quick. And uh, but fortunately... Um, that field looks good. I see a little bit of a bulge between 14 and 13. So you're hearing Sarah call out some more of the seal check there as, as she's exiting out. It's repeated. SpaceX copies that report. Good fix. So this was something we knew might happen. Um, and this Sarah between 28 and 27. Copy. The crew trained on exactly what to do in this scenario. Just pop it back in. And Reseed one it. final between 19 and 18. That might be best repeated with hatch closure. SpaceX copies. Can you repeat the location? After EVA complete. Between 19 and 18. All right, copy. I'll track that and uh, ask again when you're in ingress. Copy. EV2 is proceeding with egress. Super exciting to see this. Our fellow SpaceXer, yeah. Sarah Gillis, now about to make her spacewalk. EV1, I'm going to hand this back to you. Like we mentioned, Sarah will be performing the same. Uh, set of mobility tests. Uh, so we will do the same. Uh, try to stand by and listen to those comms. said it before, a lot of us work here because we want to do this. All right, stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. And EV2 for awareness, we're watching from the nose cone. All. I would say in all three translational axes, I'm having certainly cross coupled movements. Forward, back, I am inducing a bit of a roll. Similarly, with left, right, and up, down, a bit of a pitch. But all our achievable rating is three. Yaw is a three. Roll is a four. And pitch is a three.
TV. Slide from left hand. Stepping into vertical translation. SpaceX copies and EV2 for awareness. We're tracking an ingress time at 02 flow, five nine minutes. Copy five nine minutes. Horizontal bars are definitely preferred. Stabilize my body with single hand disturbances. Clear for breath left and right. Stepping into max reach, do you have visual? A firm, we have visual on the nose cone. Copy from bar four to bar two, from top down. And similar reach from bar two up to bar four. SpaceX copies reach. And EPA testing just one complete. Seat pressure 5.25, 33.8 Celsius, 37% humidity. SpaceX copies HUD readout and test matrix one complete. Seven need to test matrix two. Like we mentioned before, views going in and out doing during me, due to those ground station uh, coverage gaps. Yeah, we we comms are some of the same. Comms are through satellites, but we've got ground stations for video on Dragon. As you can see in the tracker, we just flew over on uh, New Zealand. We're about to go right over the middle of the Pacific. No ground stations the in the middle of the Pacific. The are actually pretty good. We're hearing the voice of mission specialist Sarah Gillis, our fellow SpaceXer on her spacewalk. She's got, she's got about a minute left, and then she's going to start heading inside. And Let's see if it's a little more work I can actually get between almost bar one and bar four on that reach. Space has copies. And you can see the Earth dark and we flew into like an orbital. Right, and test matrix to kind of combine them, so we'll call that complete. Pressure 5.27, 38% humidity, 33.7 Celsius. SpaceX copies, matrix complete, and HUD readout. Step into hands free demo. I'm able to engage and disengage my feet. Copy that, EV2, and once you are able to engage, disengage, we'll actually have you start ingress. We're just over five, nine minutes, O2 flow. Copy. With that, EV2 is proceeding with ingress. Please check for ingress. EV1 is good. EV2 is good. Good. Port is good. Copy. Coming on in. And just like that, Sarah's going to start making her way in. Check those hatch seals again. SpaceX copies on striker plates. And EV2, I have one more ask for the hatch, if you can uh, check that out as well when ready to copy. And 
what you copy. Copy. And EV2, what I'll have you do is when you ingress, can you get eyes on the hatch handle mechanism and see if the handle has been stowed in the do not stow uh, window and report if you can see that? I think it's just outside. Copy, just outside, thank you. Just outside the range. And for awareness, I do see a couple of those same points bulging again between 12 and 13. Your go to No, mostly between 12 and 13 right now. SpaceX copies at 12. Uh, if you can, you're going to address those. Copy and worse. These numbers being called out represent the location yeah, around. Yeah, the location around the circular hatch, just identifying where these bulges are. So Sarah is now reseating that seal. Not quite able to reach the back one, so we'll proceed with clearing for hatch closure. Just like that, we're already hearing about hatch closure. It's incredible that these two EVAs, just in two blinks of the eyes, are... Uh, EV2 is clear of hatch, please. Two chances. On your screen there is SpaceX Core, uh, or Crew Operations and Resource Engineer. On duty tonight is Arthur Berrialt. This is the, uh, the the voice to the crew throughout uh, their operations. Of course, you know, everyone has to sleep, so we have sh different shifts for Core. Um, but Mike, your time in Dragon. Driving close. You're good. Copy. Deploying Mando. Applying force and closing. Once we get ground station coverage uh, again, we will be sure to bring you views within the Dragon capsule. But right now, Sarah is closing the forward hatch. It sounds like we might give the motor a try. You confirm the hatch is visually indicating closed. Command hatch is verified latch. Okay, command and EVA hatch closed. EVA hatch closed. All three is enabled. Dragon SpaceX, we see EVA hatch closed and pressure indicates good hatch seal. Stand by for transition to EVA repress one. And EV1 copy. If one check secondary O2 valve closed. Stopping. Okay. Support one on this. EV1 closed. EV2 closed. EV1 closed. Question closed. So a couple of real big moments right there. Sarah was able to make yeah, sure. We copy. We're in EVA repress one. We copy secondary flow is closed and agree. EVA repress one. He was able to make sure that the seals were in good spot. We got the hatch closed. You okay, can see. We're out of the half PSI for 8.3. See the pressure starting to tick up. 